Hey, welcome to the Visa Success Series, video 22. My name is Richard Lascardo. I'm an MBA with 22 years of study abroad costing experience. And regarding our organization, Education Abroad Costing Center, we are one of those few study abroad costing centers in the world who can do costing for all countries, all universities, and all levels. If you are interested in having a Zoom one on one appointment, then click on on the calendar link given in the description look at appointment this appointment is free for you now let's me tell about the visa success series the reason of coming up this is not the first time that i'm giving free information when i start I, we education abroad counseling center started in 2000 in 2008 we started my educational guide a bi-monthly career oriented news journal that was circulated freely to thousand schools and colleges and around 100 universities, foreign universities. The objective of basically giving it free to thousand schools and colleges in India was to create awareness about study abroad. At that time, basically many students were not about, aware about the thousands of specializations that are available, how these specializations are scope and uh, what they can look for in these specializations. So we decided that we should come out with a, a bi-monthly journal and we should give it free to thousand schools and colleges. And we did from 2008 to 2012, for four years. Why did I stop? Because people don't read. So it's no use spending money when you are not getting the purpose. Sorry. That was the first thing that we started. I started with during the pandemic giving the 38 days consecutive student university webinar where I called universities from different countries and tried to create awareness about study abroad, options, admissions, scholarships, deadlines, and many other factors for the students. And then this visa series, success series came. The objective of every time giving free was to create awareness. Now, this is important because this is what I know. This is the knowledge that I have and this is the knowledge that I can share. This is my contribution to the society. Now, as your duty, you need to basically also share it to others. Because if you are not sharing, it will not reach to millions who are looking for such information. So you are the drivers. You are the person who is going to basically share it, forward it, and recommend it, like it, comment it, subscribe to this. And this is very, 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 very important. Otherwise, there will be no motivation for anyone to do anything because everything that you do will die there. So let it spread and please share this to everyone. Now coming to today's question. Today we are going to talk about questions on education qualification. Now what are these questions? Now these questions are that I have done my master's or I have done my MBA and I have applied for a master in the same program or MBA in the same program. Okay, or MBA, which is not in the same program, but a different program, still this question can come. Now, first and foremost, I would suggest you that if you have done your master's, or if you've done your MBA, then don't apply to the same program. That's one. Because there's a high chance of you being rejected. Why? Because you are going abroad for studying further. For what you have done in the past, you are going to take it further to the next level. So when you are doing the same program, the visa officer doesn't see any value addition and he may reject you as a potential immigrant. So many do masters in accounting in India and then they do masters, they apply for masters in accounting abroad in US. They do MBA in finance or MBA in marketing, and then they apply again for MBA in marketing. This will not help your purpose. 
understand that you are going abroad to gain a new knowledge because you are spending lakhs of rupees for this and you have to justify the visa officer of why you want that knowledge and how the money you are paying for that knowledge is justified and will get you value. So always choose a program that you find is different from what you have done in the past and you are able to give a reason to the visa officer why you are doing this program and how this is different from the one that you have done already. So the first question is why masters again? Why MBA again? As I provided the answer in my earlier explanation, I would say my masters in marketing is different from the one that I have done earlier. My masters was into finance. On this, or the my I'm doing masters in digital marketing, and this is uh, masters in marketing. The reason I want this qualification is because uh, I'm working in a social media platform for the last three years and um, where I need this particular knowledge. In, term, in today's term, more importance is also on the digital marketing and I am not having that sufficient knowledge. So therefore, I want to get a degree so that I can go further in this particular or whatever you want to say. As I've said, try to do something different from what you have done in the past. Don't repeat the same subject. The second is you are a bachelor student and you are applying for a bachelor's program. Again, this question will be asked, why bachelor's again? Now here there is a little difference. Okay, if I have done BCom and I applied for BSc in computer science, then probably I'll be related, I'll be rejected. Even in your master's that I said earlier, try to see that it is related to your profile. It is related to your profile. Very, very important. If it is, if you chose a specialization which is not related to your profile, even then your chances of rejection is very few. So choose a specialization that is related to your profile. That is related to your profile means your education qualification and your work experience. So year one, when you are going to, uh, when the visa officer is going to ask why bachelors again, then you must have done bachelors to complete the 16 year. You have, you must be going on a transfer program where you have got credits for your bachelors. So it has to be related if you are applying for a credit. If you are going for, if you are done BCOM and I'm uh, applied for, uh, my previous education qualification is BCOM and I'm applied for BSc in computer science, then my BSc in computer science program will not give will not provide credits for BCom. So I will not get any credits. So I will have to do four years of PSA in computer science, in which case the visa officer will reject. So if you if the visa officer go why bachelors again, then you, you are going to say that I have done my BCom. My 15 years of education is not acceptable for pursuing an MBA program or I have done BSC IT, which is a 15 years program and uh, it is not uh, qualified for a master's in computer science or master's in data science. So I am applying as a transfer student so that I will be qualified for a master's in data science. There has to be some reason why you want to do your bachelor's again. The next question is, you are applying for masters, why don't you apply for a PhD? Because your profile, you have already have a master. So, so you have to justify why you are not applying for a PhD because uh, I'm not interested in research, but I'm interested in working in so-and-so areas, which requires certain ad additional qualifications and my profile you know, requires that I should get this qualification. Therefore, I wish to do this master. So these are the questions on education qualifications. Why you have to, why this, why masters, why bachelors, how you are going to justify them and how you should basically choose them. I hope you are going through this video series 
as I have covered a lot of coasters, which you will not find anywhere. That's guaranteed. It's guaranteed you will not find all these questions. So go to them because, you know, many have benefited. Many, many, many have benefited. Okay. If sometime possible, I'll share basically if possible the emails that I get that students have benefited. I'm sorry, basically, some of them, uh, when they take the mock, uh, the free mock, that uh, the free Zoom one-on-one -on -one appointment, they're asking for the free mock. I will be answering all your visa-related questions that your profile has, but I will not be giving free mock because I charge certain services. So that those services are under charge. I can't offer everything free. Whatever is possible within my limits, I am giving it free to you so that you can take the benefit. I wish you all the best. The visa success is helping everybody and I'm happy that basically you are watching them and you are sharing them. God bless you and take care. Have a good day.